Teal College is a community that celebrates student and alumni success. This year's Haller Entrepreneur of the Year Award honors a dedicated alumnus and a very proud Teal parent, Nate Neely. It's always a thrill to honor the entrepreneurial excellence of an alumnus who has had an amazing personal and professional journey. As we celebrate Nate's accomplishments, we are grateful for the generosity of Henry, Grace, and Linda Haller, uh, whose support of the college has been long and transformative and whose support underwrites the Haller Institute and tonight's program. Entrepreneurs are the driving force of the world economy. Today's innovations only take flight because of the dedication and spirit of today's entrepreneurs. Creativity, though essential, is not the only trait entrepreneurs employ. They must understand all facets of business. It is with an understanding of the full array of business management that successful entrepreneurs take risks. A Teal College education provides students with the critical thinking and analytical skills to weigh entrepreneurial opportunity as they pursue successful business enterprises. Nate Neely began his career working in the area of juvenile justice. That work and his dedication to at-risk students led to the development of a group home, Pathways, and the development of a charter school. These pursuits sparked a passion for establishing and expanding businesses. Nate has led companies that expanded and supported local and regional economic development, and he's developed facilities and programs that support at-risk populations from children to the elderly. His life of service and engagement is truly inspiring. We are particularly grateful for his current leadership as a member of the Board of Trustees and his active engagement as a parent of a student who is thriving at Teal College, his daughter, Maddie. And so we honor Nate Neely for his professional accomplishments and his regional engagement as an entrepreneurial business leader. And we thank him for the care he has given to society's often most fragile groups, disadvantaged children and the elderly. The journey of Teal's outstanding alumni, alumni like Nate, are filled with experiences of both challenge and success. As our students embark on their own entrepreneurial journeys, and as we each strive to live each day with an entrepreneurial mindset, we find inspiration in the accomplishments of Nate Neely and Teal's many successful alumni. Congratulations, Nate. I'm Gary Witoski, the Executive Director of the Haller Enterprise Institute at Teal College. 25 years ago, the Haller Enterprise Institute was established through a substantial gift from Mr. Henry E. Haller, Jr. and his wife, Grace Mary Haller. Since that time, the purpose of the Institute has remained unchanged, to encourage students to develop the entrepreneurial spirit and assist them in becoming successful entrepreneurs. Since its inception, the Institute has awarded more than $1 million in scholarships, including more than 40,000 this year alone. And nearly 800 students have completed individualized business plans through the very popular course, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, which was developed and taught up until his retirement last year by Executive Director Emeritus, Professor David M. Miller. Each year, the Institute also recognizes deserving individuals as Entrepreneur of the Year and Student Entrepreneur of the Year. Although this year's awardee, Nate Neely, did not participate in the Howard Institute while a student at Teal, his career embodies the mission of the Institute. He discovered his entrepreneurial spirit while working in the juvenile justice system, which inspired him to found Pathways Adolescent Center in 1998. Nate has leveraged his experiences from Pathways and expanded into other endeavors such as real estate, an apartment complex, and three independent living retirement homes. Nate's most recent venture is investing in the Wenango Country Club in Franklin. Nate is a great example of applying the entrepreneurial mindset to a wide variety of businesses. His passion, drive, knowledge, and liberal arts education have allowed him to move each organization forward and provide jobs and anchor businesses for the Venango County region. Congratulations, Nate, on being named the 2020 
Heller Enterprise Institute Entrepreneur of the Year. Hi, I'm Roberta Leonard, Vice President for College Advancement at Teal College. And I'm really excited today because we're honoring Nate Neely. And we're honoring him as one of a hi long history of entrepreneurs through the Haller Enterprise Institute. Every year, we pick someone who's making a difference in the region, in the country, in the businesses that they own and operate. We look for people that are employing people, that are doing something new and something different or something diverse. And Nate certainly fits that bill. He's a true entrepreneur in every sense of the word. He's also an amazingly nice person and a wonderful example of what a Teal alum can do. Nate never hesitates to reach back. Um, he is a graduate of Teal who played football, but our golf team needed some place to practice during the pandemic. And Nate was the first person to step forward and say, you can use my facility. He's always been there to reach out to students who may need a helping hand or a piece of information or a mentoring. He's brought students to Canton. In his work with the Oil City football team, he has um, encouraged more than one student to check out Teal College. We're happy to have his daughter with us, Maddie. She's a wonderful example of what a Teal student can do. Nate has a strong group of friends that he remains connected with and has stayed friends with over the years. Whether it's a trip to Florida or a football game or coming to Teal College homecoming, Nate remains true to the friends he made. Those lifelong connections that are established at Teal are a part of Nate's life. And I think that's amazing. There is no sort of air of importance that he puts on. He's just a guy doing his business, doing it well, helping others and helping the community. And what a wonderful way to approach life. What a, what a gift he gives to people to support some underprivileged populations, whether they're at-risk students or the elderly that are residents within his facility. He takes that care with them. He shows them that respect, the respect Nate shows everyone. And that's what makes Nate a special person. And that's what makes honoring Nate so much fun for the members of the Teal College community and why this award is so well deserved. So for me, what I want to say is congratulations, Nate. Deserved. You live the mission of Teal College. You actualize it. You live a life of vocation and service, but also a life of fun and engagement and helping others. So congratulations. When I received the Haller Enterprise Institute Award from uh, a phone call from President Traverso, I was, I was honored. I, I was actually in shock. It was something that allowed me to reflect back on my life more than anything. So my journey to Teal College was not an easy path to get to. I graduated high school and went to another university in Ohio on a football scholarship. I didn't do well over there. I did not adjust well over there. I was still young and immature, I think, and wasn't ready for all life had to offer. So I ended up coming back home and just finding local jobs around here. And then I, I knew at that point that if I wanted to be successful in life, I had to go to college and get my degree. So I ended up going to Teal College with a good friend of mine. We became roommates and played on the football team. I had a very successful football career at Teal. I started all four years. I believe I won awards every year. Um, the nice part about Teal had to offer was they're always there for you. you know, they would not let you get lost in the shuffle. I built a great friendship. I ended up joining the Phi Theta Phi fraternity. They became my family almost. Um, so not succeeding wasn't an option. After college, I tried to make it in professional football. That, that did not work out. I saw what true athletes were out there. So I ended up taking the first job I could find, which was Bethesda Group Home up in Meadville. A friend of mine was a director up there and he got me involved in that and I just fell in love with the field. I knew it was something I really wanted to do. So Pathways Adolescent Center was kind of always a dream of mine once I started in the field. I knew it was a field I wanted to be in 
but in order to be in it, I wanted to do it my way. And I felt like I knew what kids needed. I didn't grow up in the best uh, home environment. I mean, I had a loving mother and that took care of me, but I, you know, I grew up with not a lot and it made me appreciate everything I got. And I kind of knew where these kids were coming from. We started with just one building, 28 kids, all boys ranging from the ages of 10 to 21. And we quickly grew and knew that we needed that we needed to transition them from just the group home setting to an independent living type setting. So that was for the older kids, 16 to 21. We wanted to get them more exposure to work, sports, the public school. These were kids that we were finding that couldn't go home right away based on their home environment, where they couldn't succeed in it or it just wasn't the right fit. So we started that program, that house 12, 12 use. And then from there, we decided to open up the girls' home. That was the most challenging because a lot of us didn't have that much experience with the girls' home. But we found the right staff and uh, we grew that program. And then we found a bigger need for the girls' home, especially with the transitional living where we were gonna have them for a long period of time. Our main building holds 28 youths that are boys. We have a two-story house that holds 12 boys that are younger age, age 12 to 15. We have a girls building that holds 28 girls. And then we have a, a house in the community that holds another eight girls that are 16 to 21. And then we have two independent living houses for the boys that each holds 12. We currently have a capacity of 100 use and we will reach 100 today for the first time ever. We currently employ 70 employees. We're in the top, I believe, 20 employers in Oil City, Pennsylvania. The ultimate goal for, for me to, for the success of Pathways Adolescent Center is not the dollars or, or what we create necessarily. It, you know, our success comes back to us on how the kids succeed through life. You know, when, when they send us a letter or call us and let us know they, they're in the military or, you know, they started a new job and, and they're getting a life together, that's where the true success is. So the other business that I'm involved in is Winango Country Club. It was a local country club that was kind of an unknown gem. Uh, two famous architects designed it, Donald Ross and Tillinghast. And it was, it was a beautiful course but because of the unfortunate times of Venango County, it was tough to get members, tough to keep the quality of it up. So it ended up selling from private to an individual, and that individual ended up having to go into bankruptcy. So I was approached by three other owners to see about going in and saving the club. At that time, golf business was just a horrible investment. Everyone knew it, it was kind of fading away. And a lot of younger kids weren't doing it. And we had an older population out there. So it was truly a give back to the county to preserve it. And I jumped on board with it. We, uh, we've turned it around. It, we are now, uh, our membership's up. We have a great food venue. We added a pool. We had a new and growing sport called pickleball that everyone seems to be playing and enjoying. And it was good to give back. It, it's definitely not um, a business that you're gonna get rich from, but it was, it was great to give back to the community and to get it thriving again. My daughter, Sam Madison Neely, is going to Teal College now. She's in her second year. She's on the volleyball team. She says she wants to follow her dad's footsteps. She, anxious for me to retire so she can come in and take it all over. Um, I plan to hopefully one day take over my father's businesses and take his role because I grew up around it and it's always inspired me and seeing his success makes me want to carry that out. I'm proud of my father for receiving the Howler Award because 
He deserves it. He's worked hard for it. He's come a long way. I guess the advice I would give to anyone who wants to be an entrepreneur is you have to make sure it's in a field that you love because you're going to live it. If it's something that you're going into for a paycheck, it's probably not going to be successful. Whatever it is, make sure it, you know, it's something that inspires you and that you can pass on and, and promote.